We have uh, Dr. Lucy Jones on the phone with us to uh, give us an interview. Uh, Dr. Jones, thank you so much for carving out some time because we know you are probably, your phone's probably ringing off the hook. Yeah, and uh, uh, I got shaken out of bed, so. <laughs> All right, well, we've seen several tweets from you already this evening. Let's talk about tonight's quake, and it sounds rather similar to the 87 Whittier Narrows quake. It's quite a bit smaller, however. So the location and the focal mechanism and the depth are all very similar to 1987. That was a 5.9, killed three people. Um, this is only a 4.6, so something like 50 times smaller. Uh, I, I Here in Pasadena, I felt it, I mean, it woke me up and... Uh, rolled for a while so it's definitely strong strong enough shaking yeah and talk about it because you know uh many of us are not nearly as familiar with earthquakes as you are dr jones but for for us who have grown up in california we have felt earthquakes our whole lives this one felt like a jolt now can you tell us somewhat of the difference between sometimes you just feel that sort of slight roll sometimes it's a jolt with the roll i mean the the nerve-wracking part That's is you never know you what's how coming far next. away you are Right, so whether if it, if you're nearby, the earthquake puts out energy at a lot of different frequencies. And if you're nearby, you feel them all. Your body responds to the high frequencies. It feels like a jolt. When you get farther away, all the high frequencies have damped out by traveling through the earth, and just the lower frequencies are left. So when you're far away from it, it feels more like rolling motion. Mm -hmm. So I'm here only about you know five miles away from the earthquake, and it felt pretty sharp to me. Uh, I'm sure I'm seeing reports that people felt it in, I don't know, uh, down in Orange County, even in San Diego, they would have felt it as, as slow rolling motion. Curious, um, a lot of the next question that follows from everyone's lips, uh, we want to talk about aftershocks. And of course, we've heard you uh, after so many of these, yeah. there's, there's no way to predict, <laughs> to predict them, but what do you, uh, can we ask you what you expect to, to come from this one? My guess would be, uh, some aftershocks, it's, I mean, a 4.6, well, we, oh, look at that. We've already had two of them. So there's been a 2.1 and a 1.6 in the intervening um, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Um, and probably uh, the average would be one more that would be large enough to be felt, like above three. That would be the average. Um, there is the possibility it's a four shock. It does happen uh, about 5% of the time. So, which is essentially saying there could be an aftershock bigger than this earthquake, but that's less than 5% of the time that you would be seeing that. Well, let's hope we're, yeah, let's hope we, we don't feel the <laughs> foreshock. But I want to talk to you, you know, we've done stories, I've certainly talked with you about it before, the earthquake early warning system. Would you say that, did you, did you get any warning that this was going to be happening? Or did anyone get any warnings about this? I don't know. I don't know. I actually haven't set it up here at home. Yeah, and, so and I mean, I, the amount of warning you would have gotten from Pasadena would have been just mere seconds, if that, right? Oh, it would have been, you know, less than a right, second. Right, right. Uh, I mean, I'm co the earthquake's relatively deep. Uh, I, I, we're seeing 18 kilometers right now or 10 miles below the surface of the Earth, 11 miles. Uh, that means everybody's at least 11 miles away from it. So uh, nobody's really, really close. Um, but you have to, the waves would have to get to the surface and get registered first. There might have been... You know, if everything worked perfectly, you might get a half a second here or something. Hmm. Right. For for quick locations, it's not going to do anything other no. than to maybe turn your head to see what 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 is happening. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. And so. As we, as you know, obviously we have a lot of people who are probably just tuning in saying, you know, waking up their partner, waking up their friends saying, did you feel it, did you feel it? And of course they come to us and so we're talking about this earthquake. Again, it was a 4.6 magnitude earthquake. It struck at 1138. But is there anything that you wanted to talk to us about? Because it does, it, it really is very, no pun intended, very rattling. Well, all right. So it's a uh, it's a wake up call. Reminds you that we are we do have earthquakes here. Um, we have enough disasters going on right now. I, I'm like everybody else. I'd rather not have something more in 2020. Uh, and and this in and of itself isn't any going to be causing much of anything. If you were right on top of it, a slight chance you might have had something knocked over. Um, but uh, it's just not that that big an earthquake. Um, but it is a reminder that we can have earthquakes in Los Angeles, and when we are right on top of it, you will always get much stronger shaking than if you're at some distance away.
Yeah, well, I have to say, Dr. Jones, uh, Jory and I have so many questions for you. We're not going to take your whole evening, but I, I know that a lot of people who have animals, and they say animals sort of can sense these things. Do you have an animal? Did, 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 do you ever believe in no, that? No, we don't. And we have never seen an animal re respond before an earthquake. What there is, and it's what we use for early warning, is there's two types of waves that come off of an earthquake. The one travels faster but is smaller. The second one is bigger but travels more slowly. And the farther away you are, the farther apart those waves arrive. Just like, you know, you can time the time between thunder and, and lightning mm -hmm. to know how far away the lightning was. If you feel both of these waves, you can figure out how far away the earthquake is. And, like, I did not feel the P wave, but I think I was still asleep. It was the S wave, the second one that woke me up. If your animal was awake they often will feel the P wave where the human doesn't. Oh, so just okay. like early warning, if you're right on top of the earthquake, there's no time at all. If you're some ways away, you might see the animal sit up and look up, and that's the beginning of the earthquake that you missed, and it's responding to the later part of it. Okay. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.